How to create the liquid animation effect in Adobe After Effects. What's up, video creator? It's videomark.net again with a short one in After Effects. This is the popular liquid animation in After Effects. Very easy to do. It's actually just two effects stacked on top of each other with a bunch of keyframes. And let's uh, see how it's done. All right, we're in After Effects here. So the first thing to do is grab this ellipse tool and hold down the shift key and drag a circle on our canvas. And as you can see, we did drag this somewhere in our canvas. We wanna center that. I do that a lot in my tutorials. There's a handy shortcut, a combination of shortcuts, Control, Alt, and Home, or Command, Option, and Home to center the pivot of this graphic. And then let go of the Alt or Option key and just hold Control or Command, Home to center it to the canvas. Okay, let me repeat that because that's a very common thing to do. I do that a lot. But you work a lot with um, shapes in After Effects, so it's a muscle memory thing already. Control, Alt, boom, boom. Okay, you center that to the canvas. So that's our starting point. And what we want to do now, we want to duplicate this ellipse tool. When you want to duplicate something on a canvas, you actually have to have this ellipse tool in this shape graphic, in the shape layer selected because the shape layer can contain multiple multiple graphic assets. Okay, so when you have this selected and you have your selection tool, nothing's going to happen. But when you have the ellipse asset selected within the shape layer and hold the Alt or Option key, then you can start duplicating it. Many times people get confused. You know, of course, you know this functionality, Alt or Option to duplicate things on the canvas, but you have to have this graphic selected and see this transformation box here, these handles, and then you can duplicate it. And then when you hold down the Shift key, in addition, you can actually restrict it to the horizontal movement. And that's our graphic here. Actually, we want to do, we want to duplicate this ellipse in place. So just the common shortcut, Control D. Now we have it duplicated like this. And what we want to do, we actually want to move these apart. Okay, so one, go to the uh, the first ellipse, hold, open the transform value, set a keyframe for the starting point, like, like so, and then move over maybe a second, and then move it to the left, and do the same thing for the other one. Transform value, position keyframe, and then another keyframe here, like this. So we can see them moving apart like this. That should do. And now I wanna ease these keyframes. So select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. You can also use the shortcut F9. And then we want to tweak this a little more. It's already easing, but not enough. So select those keyframes, open the graph editor, and then you want to select this graph here and move those handles over like so. So it will ease in, move over, and then ease out. The next thing we wanna do, actually, that's the actual effect. We wanna head over to the effects and graphics panel, go to fast box blur. Many tutorials are using a legacy effect, which is, uh, I think it was called Fast Blur Legacy, but we wanna use the Fast Box Blur, apply it to the shape layer, and then crank up the blur radius. You can see it's blurring these things out, and you can see them already touching here, and that's always actually going to determine the shape of our liquid, okay? And then we want to add another effect, which is the Simple Choker. This one. And now watch what happens when we increase the value here. When they come closer to each other, it's actually, it's blurring the shapes and then putting them back together and sharpening the, the profile, which is going to give you this liquid effect. It, all, it almost looks like two cells splitting as you would see in maybe in medical animations. We wanna actually increase this value of the choke mat a little more, it's a little too blurry. Some people are cranking this up all the way to 100, but then you can see it's going to be pixelated. So maybe 50 will do for now. And when you play this, we got our cell effect, okay? Two cells separating. This actually carries over to the color value as well. So when these ellipses have different color values, they will also be blurred and then put together, which gives the effect of actually organically splitting those two different um, cells. 
So we're gonna to go to the fill and maybe give this a reddish color. Red pinkish color. And the other one, a bluish color, like so. And now when you play it, whoop, as you can see, it carries over to the color values, like so. And that's also something you might want to do when something's actually, when you're creating these organic effects and have these things separating. And that's basically it. That's our liquid animation, our cell animation look. And as you've seen, pretty easy to do. Just the two effects, what did we do? We create, we created two circles. We animated them within one shape layer. So you have two distinct shapes here. First, we applied the fast box blur, and then we applied the simple choker, and that's Basically, it's simple and easy to do. And that's the liquid animation in Adobe After Effects. Hope you learned something new. If so, please consider hitting the like button to support my channel and promote my tutorials. And I will see you in the next tutorial.